was. Congratulations. Um, how are you feeling about getting the, uh, a start in this test? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, definitely excited. Um, it's a big test. Um, my first start as well, so I'm excited to see what, I, see um, how I do and see how I challenge myself as well. So, yeah. Most or oh, 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 you played the whole season at number eight uh, for the Chiefs. How much has change is going to be to be on the blind side? Yeah, oh, I think it's um, definitely a, 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 a big change. Um, but um, we'll prep well throughout the week, and yeah, I'll get my reps right, and yeah, it should be all good. What kind of experience have you had at once? I think played like a couple of games at Harvard there. Yep, a couple of games at Harvard there. Um, probably my most recent experiences at Harvard. So yeah, like I said, it'll be a bit of a change, but um, get the reps in throughout the week and prepare well. So. Earlier this year, I think you're playing Chiefs Development. Now you're starting a test against the Springboks. Mm -hmm. It's been been quite the rise. I mean, you pinch yourself with starting a test like this in Cape Town this week. Yeah, still a little bit, um, you know, still feeling a bit overwhelmed, but um, uh, yeah, just, just excited and yeah, keen to get into it. So. What did you notice last week about the game and, and what do you think you can add just to, to deal with that pack this week? Yeah, I think the big one is being able to play for the full 80, um, being able to keep that level high um, right throughout the entire game. And um, like we all know, it's a physical game, so I'll be expecting that, that this week as well. So. Jordy, what's the mood been like in camp? This week, as a senior player, what's the message on keeping everything? Yeah, it's been consistent. We've prepped well as we did last week, so um, nothing too much changes there. But obviously, there's a little bit of disappointment that's lingering from last week, and yeah, we want to right a few wrongs. So um, yeah, it's been a good week so far, but there's still a little bit to go, and uh, to another big challenge against a, a very good side. It's been quite a bit of overhaul um, in this team, but more than we're kind of used to. Um, with the All Blacks, how does that feel from your point of view? Um, I think it's normal for a, for a year after a World Cup phase. We've been through one of them before, and um, certainly not making any excuses <coughs> in that space. We um, have had plenty of time to prep, and the, this week has been very good as well. Um, but we're facing a very good opposition as well, so we need to learn fast, adapt, and and hopefully do everything we can to get a win on Saturday. I want us, um, obviously I watched you in the, in the Super Rugby, but for the border media, just tell us who you are and uh, what could we expect from you um, this coming weekend? Yep, yep. Uh, my name is Wallace, um, played for the Chiefs in Super Rugby this year, um, played number eight for the Chiefs and uh, hopefully a bit of physicality this, physicality this week and yeah, hopefully can bring that into the game. So. Is uh, uh, Ethan Blackadder giving you some tips on what to expect from Peter Steph in the board? <laughs> Yeah, obviously he's a um, very helpful. He's been very helpful for me um, in this entire sort of campaign, and um, obviously it's come with a bit of an unfortunate um, circumstance. But yeah, he's giving me a bit of tips, um, and but we'll keep that to us. So, yeah. And and what does Reza told you? What what does he want to see from you on Saturday? Just that physicality, um, both on attack and defense, and um, yeah, just like I said, I'll try and bring that on on the weekend. So. Uh, Jordi, um, the box should, um, uh, well, Rassi did mention that if there will be a few changes in the team, but what are you expecting from them here in Cape Town State? And they haven't won the Freedom Cup uh, in, in uh, over a decade. I mean, what are you expecting from them this coming weekend? Yeah, probably nothing different to what they've put out in the last in those six, seven, eight years. They've been ultra consistent. Um, their form doesn't really waver from week to week. Um, and sometimes their selection does, so they've got a lot of depth in their squad and um, we're not aware of the team that's been named yet, but um, no, we may expect the, the same team or we could expect a lot of changes. It's kind of been what Russie's about, um, but look, whoever he puts out there seems to do a job, so it's going to be a big challenge in Cape Town this weekend. Julie, are you going to miss your big bro in, in the starting lineup, and, and what do you expect from him from the bench also, because that's where the box sort of made the difference last week? Yeah, I think um, we we didn't finish the game well last week, and we haven't for a few weeks. So um, hopefully we can we can close the game out in the last quarter if we get the opportunity to this week. So um, yeah, it's been a big focus for us. And just Bowden off the bench. Sorry. Uh, Bowden Bennett off the bench. What's the question? Sorry. Uh, what, what do you hope to see from him in that last quarter? Oh, nothing too dissimilar from what he normally does each week. So. Um, he'll be uh, yeah, wanting to, to make a difference. Geordie, obviously, there's 
changes to the bench, but it can't all be about the bench in the last 20 minutes. Is, is, what are you sort of seeing out there? Is the is the heads dropping or fatigue, or because it, it's been you know, three weeks in a row now, around some of those sort of changes in the last 20 minutes? Yeah, I think we just need to keep um, applying pressure uh, when it matters in, the, in those uh, deciding sort of minutes of the game, and you can't let teams off the hook. Um, a little bit of that has been us, and and we've tried to focus on those areas throughout the past few weeks and I feel like we're getting there, we're learning, um, so hopefully we see um, some improvement in the weekend. Jordi, just your thoughts on Peter step to two as a player, we know what happened last in the final, uh, we, he targeted you, tackled you many times, yeah. uh, he made 28 tackles, <coughs> um, just your thoughts on him last week, he played in three different positions. Yeah, exceptional player, uh, player I have a lot of respect for and uh, he's so versatile, so durable and covers a lot of the ground and it's inevitable if I'm playing at 12, we're going to be running into that channel and Peter Steff will be there. So uh, I enjoy it. Um, it's a great challenge and you want to test yourself against the best. Jordan having Cortez at nine and Bullock at 15, expecting from those two, it's pretty exciting back line. Yeah, um, yeah, expect a lot of energy. Um, the tests, tests are difficult, um, particularly in South Africa. So. Yeah, hopefully they can just go out there and, and just do their basics well and they've got a lot of backing from other players and, and obviously the coaches too. So um, it's a great challenge for them and we'll see how they feel. Uh, Jordi, just in terms of, it's the first match at the AHL Stadium between these two teams, and um, but the box haven't beaten the All Blacks since 2005 in Cape Town. Are these types of stats anything you guys talk about during the week? Certainly not. Inconvenient facts um, won't have any relevance in the way we prepare this week. Do you think the, the thin match to the this ball game, obviously that does at altitude, faster pitch perhaps, the escape down a bit similar to Wellington and heavier field, heavier, better conditions? Yeah, the, I think the pitch in Wellington is actually pretty fast. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and I haven't been to the Cape Town Stadium, so I don't know what to expect uh, in that space. Um, like you said, other All Blacks here haven't played in that stadium too, so we'll just have to wait and see. Wallace, what was your initial reaction when the team got named to the playing group? Was it any surprise from yourself, maybe getting that in the six years? Yep, well, definitely a lot of surprise. Um, yeah, obviously been there, haven't played six in a while, so um, to be just to hear my name get called out um, at that jersey was definitely different. And yeah, like I said, we're just going to have to get the reps in throughout the week. So. Well, is this the first time in South Africa? This is my first time here. Yeah, uh, how's it been through the experience? And obviously, all Blacks have a lot of fans in Cape Town in particular. Yeah, oh, it's been it's been good. Uh, we went to Table Mountain yesterday, so some good views up there, and then the fans here are just amazing as well. Um, very polite, very um, greeting. So we've been um, yeah, it's been good to see all the fans out here. So. Oh, just Jordy, away, um, Jordy. Away from the game, but we talk um, this week about perhaps the Blacks coming back and doing a full tour of South Africa in 2026. Um, how exciting is that for you? Yeah, I wasn't aware of that, but that's that'd be great. Uh, Any time we get the chance to come to South Africa as players, it's amazing. We've obviously haven't had the ability to do that, um, losing the South African teams in Super Rugby. Um, so yeah, I'll, that'll um, that'll be very welcoming amongst the group. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.